Hello guys, it's Laura and you're watching Laura X Annie and I am back with part two of my Harry Potter collection and today we are focusing on books and miscellaneous and a bit of jewellery and if you haven't watched part one click up here or here or it'll be linked in the description so you'll find it somewhere. If you're a wizard you'll find it. So let's go on for jewellery. First up I have this um, which was a jewellery set um, and it was a fiver reduced to two pounds, which is good. But it is little earrings. Um, this bit, because I cut off the earrings. So basically, my ears are really bad, they need to get re-pierced. Um, but yeah, so you have little snakes, the Deathly Hallows, a little kind of like teal coloured earrings, studs, and the little Slytherin Quidditch ones. Um, also what came with it was these two bracelets. One has like the Slytherin crest, on it and then the other just says Slytherin. I'll do obviously close-ups of them. And also what came with it was this and it is the Slytherin crest on a necklace as you can see there. But probably my mate, my mate made a humongous big Harry Potter style package for me for my Christmas. It was a joint birthday as well but in it was something that actually made me cry. It is a time turner! So I'm not a humongous, like, obviously, Golden Trio fan. I'm more the Silver Trio, which is Pansy, which is kind of Pansy, Blaze and Draco. But it's a freaking time turner. I mean, Prisoner of Azkaban is my favourite movie. So really, to have a time turner, it's, it's, two turns should do it. I just recently watched it, so it's in my head. But I mean, I mean. So thank you, Leah, uh, for getting me this for my Christmas. Uh, I do love it. Um, so yeah, I do love a good time turner. So I do have a time turner, which is really good. Okay, on to kind of books. Uh, actually, I'll leave them for last. Let's go into the stationery. So I have a Slytherin pencil case, Primark. Pretty much solid. Can't remember when I got it. Good question. Another thing Leah had put in my box was this, and it's from Scribbler. And it says, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good, which, as we all know, is Prisoner of Azkaban. It's the Marauder's Map. It's just so good. And um, yeah, so it's my poetry book, so I do tend to write poetry in that. Uh, next, we have a tiny little Slytherin notebook. I believe this is the one Isla got me. I let her stay in. It is actually, this is the one that she did get me. Uh, I let her stay in my room uh, and she thanked me by buying me a little, she didn't have to, but she bought me a lovely little Slytherin notebook to say thank you. So I still have it. Next up is this. It is a lovely Slytherin jotter that came in a stationery set that I got. Um, it is amazing. It has notes in it. I think I took them out. But yeah, no, it's a beautiful, beautiful, big leather bound notebook which I do love and I have kept. Um, finally for stationery I have this which is uh, the Marauders map. I got this from the High Potter Studio Tour and um, it's really cool and at the back it's got Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I do love it. So it's the Marauders, Marauders map. Next up I have a Christmas ornament as you do. My Leah got me this. I already had bought one for my own tree, so I keep this as an ornament. And it is just kept in its packaging, and it is basically just a Harry Potter ornament with the crest on it um, of all the houses, and it's kind of glittery on the inside and it just shimmers in the light. It's lovely. Next up, I have three pop vinyls. Two of them are missing their wands because they broke off. Because if you don't know, I've just recently had my room redone, so obviously, like everything's just moved. So they managed to survive from Sterling to Air, but they haven't survived my room. Um, so first off, we have Remus Lupin, who I do love. If you're wondering who my top three Harry Potter characters are, I have them all in pop vinyls. Um, so yeah, this is Remus Lupin. I love him. I think I am Remus Lupin sometimes. We do have the, I'm not a werewolf, but there are bits of his personality that are me. So we have Remus, we also have Sirius, Sirius Black, who I wish was my dad. Um, I do love Sirius, Guy Oldman, Dave Lewis, who plays Remus Lupin, 
Wolf Star, if you know what that means. Wolf Star. Just love Sirius. And of course, the one that still has his wand is Draco Malfoy, who is my favourite of the Potter era. I do love Draco far too much. So these are all pop vinyls, they are all from Amazon. Um, I think I bought, no I bought myself all three of them. I was going to say, I'm sure someone got me them. No, I bought myself them. Um, next up we have this Butterbeer, and it's got a few things in it. But this is a Butterbeer mug from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Florida at Universal Studios. And I have key things. So my first key thing is another pop vinyl. And it is a mini Voldemort! I'm sorry, but is this not the cutest thing you've ever did see? I know, I know, I am basically a Death Eater, but come on. Look how cute he is! Look at him! He's basically like, do I give a shit? Just killed all the muggles. Do I give a shit? YOLO bro. I do, I do love him so much. <laughs> then I have uh, many a key ring here. Um, so this key ring here, this big fluffy one with the thingy, the little Slytherin crest, is from Primark. But the other two are actually from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. So this one is little chibi Draco Malfoy and this one is Slytherin Quidditch. So I do have these two. I've got them from the Harry Potter Studio Tour. Um, next up we have three signs. I do love a good sign. This one is so cool. It says Ministry of Magic this way. So I used to have it on my door and it was just pointing down. I should really put it in the bathroom and just hang it above the toilet. If you know, you know. See Harry Potter fans that don't, like see people that don't actually know Harry Potter watching this will be like, what does she mean putting it by the toilet? If you know, you know. Next up, I have this one. That was pre-mark as well, this is pre-mark as well. Clean up after yourselves. House elves don't work here. I do love this very much. I just love it. I just love it. It makes me clean. And this one I got from the Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Hogwarts Defence Against the Dark Arts. If you don't know, Potions and Defence Against Dark Arts are my two favourite subjects at Hogwarts. If I was at Hogwarts, I would probably... I'm not good at chemistry, but I think I'd be good at potions. Next up, it's missing the top of it, but this is a candle from Primark, and it's Slytherin. And it smells amazing. It smells like a Slytherin common room. As you do. Do you love it? Next up, we have Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit. I got this for Christmas one year and I've never been so happy in my life. I've played this many a time with my friends um, and uh, it's safe to say I don't know as much as I thought I did. And finally for miscellaneous before I get into books and stuff, I have Buckbeak! <laughs> I think it's clear now Prisoner of Azkaban is my favourite movie but um, look at Buckbeak. How cute is Buck? How cute is this plush? I bought this. It was a lot of money. I don't care. It was worth it for the money. I love him so much. I just love Buckbeak. He's actually made me. My room has been moved about. Everything's been locked away. My dad's now just recently put in a door in a bit. I'm, I was, I lost him for a bit. He's now back. Finally, he can go back on my bed. <laughs> I used to collect cuddly toys and then I put them all away and Buckbeak is the only one that stays and then he got locked away recently. And I was like, oh no. Um, so now on to books. Books being my favorite thing in the world, if you didn't know. First up, I have the complete eight film collection, which I got. I'm so glad I have this. Oh, you don't understand. I, I, I was, <laughs> I didn't have them. I didn't have the films. I had the Philosopher's Stone. And I think I had the Goblet of Fire. And that was it. I didn't actually have the films. I had more of the books than I had the films. But finally, I caved and bought the eight film collection. I have never been so happy in my life to have these. I've just recently been binging them. I'm on, I'm near the end of Goblet of Fire right now. Still need to get through the rest of them. Uh, next two books I have are two iterations of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So this one is the one for Comic Relief, um, which is the New uh, Newt Scamander by J.K. Rowling from the world of Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And it's been written in, I think, by Ron and Harry. Um, in fact, there's a bit in it that I think Draco's written in it. Um, it says Chudley Cannons and then it, it says under it, um, write a decent team in my book for a change, Weasley. But also I do think it might be Harry's. 
So I think it is Harry's, but I do think that's quite funny. So yeah, comic relief one. I also have this official screenplay for Fantastic Beasts and they have, you can now pre-order the Crimes of Grindelwald official screenplay, which I have pre-ordered. So yeah, that's, this is just, I've not read this one yet, but it is beautiful. It has some really beautiful, like, drawings inside. It's beautiful. I'm so glad that they brought these out, actually, because it just makes life easier. This is also a recent purchase. This is The Tales of Beedle the Bard by J.K. Rowling, and it's basically for the Lumos charity um, and it's so good it's just basically um, quite a few stories including the tale of the three brothers which is of course the Deathly Hallows which is the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone and the Invisibility Cloak all of which Harry possessed <laughs> oh god <laughs> next up we have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child parts one and parts two I right I'll tell you this everyone keeps saying oh I don't know if I actually liked Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, blah, blah. I actually liked it. I'm gonna come out here and stand right here and say I liked Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, okay? And I'll tell you why, because it basically was just Harry and Draco and their kids and Slytherin. I mean, I could not have been happier to spend a whole two hours, the, the, I read plays very quickly, the, the actor in me. But can we just take a moment? We have Draco's kid and Harry's kid being BFFs and Harry going, um, Draco going, keep up old man for Harry to then go, we're the same age for then Draco to go, I wear it better. I mean, <laughs> the draddy in me is screaming. Uh, we can't tell, I ship will star and draddy. Um, so you can hear it screaming inside me. This was just, I just love, I just can't wait to see Draco with a ponytail. I'm gonna get to see Draco with a ponytail. I'm going to get to go see this. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. I love Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I actually liked it, okay? So don't at me for liking it. Finally, I have these. Oh God, these. So taking off the first two, this is the uh, Harry Potter collection. Um, all the sames, samesies, you know what I mean. Um, I don't have Philosopher's Stones, but I'll tell you why I don't have Philosopher's Stone in a minute. So, you've got High Point and Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. So there you go, that's those six books. But, I do have a Philosopher's Stone, but I have it in a special edition. So, recently, um, two years ago I think it was, last year, two years ago, I can't remember. Uh, JK Rowling released house colour Harry Potter books and I'm assuming she's going to be releasing one every single year. Please, fingers crossed, I want the whole collection. So, I have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. You can get it in paperback or you can get it in hardback. I have the paperback version of the Philosopher's Stone and it is green and it tells you about your house. So it says here, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Slytherin. And in the back it says, or perhaps in Slytherin you'll make your real friends, those cunning folk use any means to achieve their ends, the sorting hat. And it shows you your house ghost, which is the Bloody Baron. This Slytherin edition is published to celebrate the 20th anniversary of first publication of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, with lots of extra content that's sure to excite every witch and wizard. Wear your house colours with pride. So it does, it does tell you, you have a bit in the back, which gives you a quiz and you find out about your um, house common room and you find your memorable Slytherin student which is Draco Malfoy, famous Slytherin alumni which is Tom Riddle slash Lord Voldemort, Bellatrix Lestrange, head of Slytherin house, Professor Severus Stape that has a beautiful illustration of him, the house cup and then it just tells you 20 years of magic so um, it basically just, I think they're doing it every single year, they're just releasing each and every single one. So that was last year, um, 2017, yes, because it was 1997. So yes, that was last year's. This year was High Potter and Chamber of Secrets. Again, green. It's so green, it's so beautiful, you can wear these near your house. 
So this one says, um, the Slytherin edition is published to mark the 20th anniversary of first publication of Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets. Relish great Slytherin moments, Professor Snape's duel with Gilderly Lockhart, the terrifying stare of the King of Serpents, and enjoy exciting features and illustrations to, that celebrate the noble character of Slytherin House. Perfect for anyone who has ever imagined sitting under this sorting hat in the Great Hall at Hogwarts, waiting to hear, better be Slytherin! Wear your house colours with pride. So again, I think this is very much um, similar. The House Elves of Hogwarts. So it talks about Dobby, the alumni of Hogwarts, a quiz. So you get to do a quiz. Look at the Slytherin common room. How good is that? So you have that. Um, what else do you have? Slytherin House symbols and inspiration. So I think every year they're going to do it where they change bits of it. So I think you you will get, and then you get Slytherin and then. Um, an introduction, you get the bloody Salazar Slytherin. So I think each year they're going to put different bits into the house that like, will relate to that, that, that book, if that makes sense. So that is my Harry Potter collection. If you want to get the Slytherin editions of the books, link will be down in Amazon for the Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be back soon with another one. So I will see you guys soon. Nox! I know I need to clean up. I don't want to clean up. Oh, why do I have so much stuff? Uh -huh.